Hi, welcome back to Mumuku TV. Today is the 23rd of May 2019 and I'm going to do a special feature uh, on the live update on what's happening with the market and I'm going to focus solely on the FTSE 100 because we're based, Mumuku is based in the UK, I'm based in the UK. Government, Brexit, Theresa May, not going well. One, uh, the, the trade wars between Europe and America, uh, the Chinese and Americans are not going down very well. And then the, the oil is falling at the same time as well. Normally it's on the opposite direction, but the oil is falling. The pounds is falling. Brexit is going to have an impact. And then, um, and then potentially in the UK, the Corbyn government might come into effect. So what I've done is I've broken down into five groups to easy to understand. And if you hang on with me until towards the end of the video, I'll give you three advice, three steps which advice to take or what we should do or focus on. The FTSE 100 is broken down to my point of view, to the engineer's point of view, to simplify for all of all. To me, the, the FTSE 100 is divided into five categories just now, five key categories. The first category here that you can see on the board with my special lightsaber, FTSE 100 breakdown. So the first one is oil and commodities. So FTSE 100 contains lots of oil and commodities like BP Shell, Rio Tinto, Glencore, all these oil companies and with the trade war with China, we slow down the Chinese growth and also the, the tension oil, it's actually coming down. Oil is coming down, commodity is coming down, the demand for, for, for raw materials coming down. So it's going, it's dragging a lot of the FTSE 100. I think it holds about 20% about of FTSE 100. It's no, quite not good. good. Financial insurance and HSBC. What do I mean by that? So the financial, like the Barclays, Royal Bank, Scholar, all the high, high, um, high street um, banks and also the insurance company like, you know, Admiral, Aviva, um, legal in general, and also followed by HSBC. HSBC is always in the world their own because most of the most of the investment are in the far east in China, but because of the trade tension and the slow growth in the Chinese market, HSBC is also down. The great thing about this number two is they're still not cutting the dividends. They're still holding on to the dividends because they're still meeting the profits. But it's just the fear that people are fear that the currency might be may be falling. That's why things are starting to come out of the of the markets for these uh, areas. So, and the third one is the Corbyn foes. Corbyn foes meaning that the investors are worried that uh, Jeremy Corbyn and the Labour might um, might be the, the next the next parliamentary major party. So, uh, companies like National Grid, uh, Royal Mail, Scottish Southern Energy, all the utilities company are capital. They're all in debt already. Growth is slowing down, and then with Corbyn coming in to nationalise it. It's just not going to go great for for the investors holding this, so I think core info is not good. It's going to go down. It's already down anyway. And then followed by poor Brexit shares. Poor Brexit shares. I've got a list there, like Sainsbury, EasyJet, all the travel companies. I've got Paddy Power, BT, Marks and Spencer. All these companies are already down because of Brexit. They have been down since the last eighteen months. So it's going to go. How low can they go? I. Okay, and the only thing that's holding up, so one, two, three, four, is four against one. The only thing that's holding up the FTSE 100 just now is defensive Brexit proof shares. So I'll shout out a few defensive Brexit proof shares uh, Diageo, Unilever, GSK, uh, RB, Racket Ben Kaiser, uh, London Stock Exchange. These are the companies that are still holding up because they've got international business, they're bringing foreign currency in with the weak pounds. They're still paying good dividends. They still got uh, areas of growth, but not many of them up there. I would say maybe about about ten to twelve percent. So I don't think we're looking very bright. So like Warren Buffett say, buy when everyone else is fearful. I don't think it's a good time. I think we should hold and wait. I'm going to give you as a promise the last three tips on what we should do for us personal investors. If you can see this chart here, three tips which I think that you hold. I'll look into this camera is whole good dividends for DRP. So if you're good, if you have good um, dividend shares like uh, HSBC, uh, Shell, BP, Diageo, just hold them. Don't bother selling them, hold them because if these shares drop your dividend reinvestment, you'll be buying dividend reinvestment for a lower price. So hold them. If you get money, just buy more. We need to look at the long term, 10 years, you know. We know we've got Brexit situation, but if you look beyond 10 years, 12 years, I think we've got a nice bright horizon when um, when we have when we open our market uh, within the country. 
So for the second one is buy oil when it's below 50. So oil I think around about 50, 59, 60 just now. So if it does drop below 50, prepare, be prepared to always buy Shell BP and good quality ones because Shell hasn't cut dividends since World War II. So, and also be prepared when index FTSE drops below 6,900. So at the moment it's sitting about 7,300, 400. So if it falls below that, maybe do buy a bit of a index index fund, legal and general index fund in the all point zero point zero eight. So hopefully you enjoyed that and find it useful and leave your comments below. And uh, this video will be appearing on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So do sign up for the subscribe button if you want to hear more of these updates in future. All right, have a good day and take care. Bye-bye.